Recently, Home Assistant just announced on their blog post that HomeSeer now works via the Z-Wave integration in Home Assistant. If you're unfamiliar with the Home Assistant Partner Program, this was launched back in 2022. The goal of the program is to ensure that if we buy a device that we rely on it and we hope that the integration of that actual brand is going to work in Home Assistant in the future. So you don't have situations where you have this thing that you've bought this device and then it just doesn't work anymore. What I really love about this program is the level of detail. So you can see there are at least six badges here. I don't know if this is the latest, but you can see it works locally with Home Assistant, which means it does not require an internet connection. It works via the cloud, which is the reverse, which means that it works via an internet connection. And here we've got some more specific ones for Z-Wave, Zigbee, Matter, and Bluetooth. So this means that we as consumers are more informed about the uh, products and the brands that are claiming to be working with Home Assistant. And now you can see HomeSeer has just joined the program. All of the HomeSeer products are Z-Wave Plus certified. Bear in mind that HomeSeer have been in the home automation game since 1999. They offer AC powered Z-Wave sensors that sit around a home, for example, like motion sensors, leak sensors, door sensors, floodlight sensors. So if you purchased a home that, or if you built your smart home years ago, you probably have these devices around your home. And now you can integrate them in home system alongside the more wireless modern solutions. The great news is that these devices work locally, so they're not relying on the cloud. And this means that you're gonna get great performance and great reliability. To add these into Home Assistant, you just use the Z-Wave integration. Now, I don't have any HomeSeer devices. I've never tried them. But it seems that according to what the uh, blog post is saying, it should be a seamless and straightforward integration. Other important thing to note is the automated firmware updates for Home Assistant. So that means that the devices will be automatically updating, enhancing their experience, which helps with maintenance going forward. Now, I did a bit of digging about homes here, but I'm not an expert. As far as I understand, they're on generation four and the generation three currently is work in progress. So at the end of the blog post, you actually see that they're actually actively working on integrating with generation three. So I don't know if generation four, it has some sort of hardware upgrade or anything like that, but I'm really interested to learn a bit more about homes here. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you're using it and if you want me to dig a bit more deeper and make more videos about this in the future. This wraps up this Home Assistant news video. If you want more of this content, like and subscribe to the video. And here you can click on my next video to see my latest Home Assistant smart home project. See you in that video. Ciao.